So this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading, uh, January sixth to uh, January twelfth, uh, twenty twenty. And uh, in case um, you guys want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check the description down below, and there you're gonna find a, a link to my uh, website. So that being said, moving into the spread of the week directly, we do have the judgment card, which is the uh, topic and the theme of your love and relationship week, Sagittarius, followed by the next one, which represents the energies feeding up the topic. We do have the four of pentacles, followed by the third one, which is the challenges that you will have to stand against in this situation and hopefully overcome. That will be the hangman. Afterwards, it is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week. We have uh, the lover's card. Then it is how people see you, how your uh, person of interest sees you, how your friends and family sees you, how your lover sees you, etc., etc. We do have the page of cups. Uh, then it is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the king of cups. Followed by the next one is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the Knight of Wands. And the last one here is going to be the Strength card, which is um, the guidance that Tara is offering to you, Sag uh, Sagittarius. So uh, we do have a, a battle on our hands here. Two people are battling for you, for your trust, for your attention and probably for your love as well. Now, of course, um, the situation of battling, it could be, um, you know, over an advice they're giving you and so on and so forth. But it very well, it could be, you know, two people are fighting for you in, in terms of whom you are going to be with. But that comes into much later into the reading here. Now, first, we have to discuss the topic and the energies feeding the topic. So what these two cards here are pointing, it is that the time finally has came here to settle yourself, to establish yourself as a, a person with status in terms of love and relationship. So this week, you Sagittarius are going to secure your future in terms of love and relationship with someone. And that with someone, uh, it's um, kind of like that could be as well uh, with an ex of yours because the judgment card, it also speaks for a reunion in many cases. But the judgment, especially in terms of love and relationship, it is like, oh my God, I love this one. It's, it comes like this. It's the wake up call. In any cases, love or career or whatever, it's the wake up call. And that is the wake up call in, in terms of love and relationship of love. So you are going to find out throughout this week that you do love someone. And also that that person loves you as well, because it's kind of like a, uh, um, a, a mutual thing when it is defined with the judgment. But it could go even further than that. What I mean is the judgment, it is the solution to problems. It is especially solution to relationship problems, solution to love problems, and so on and so forth. Now, that thing could play out in so many different cases. I mean, this... Um, this situation here that we're talking about, at least right now, 10 kind of situations that are different from one another swirling through my mind. And just to give you an example, you know, you may kind of like walking out of a breakup and you have a wake up call of someone else that loves you and you are going to find out that you love them. And there you go. You have the time where you are to consolidate your status in terms of love and relationship. You know, it could be as well that you resort a big issue into your current relationship. And when that issue is no longer there, there you go. You you again kind of like consolidate your status. But the thing is that this week, 6th of January to 12th of January for you Sagittarius is very, very decisive week in terms of love and relationship to make it, okay? Not just not to break it, but to make it, to make it for yourself, to ensure a, a secure future for yourself and um, 
for your future love endeavors. So with those two cards, it looks like that um, a big thing, a big event, okay, a big major um, circumstances are coming and uh, based on those circumstances a lot of your love dramas dilemmas and problems in general are going to be resolved throughout this week january 6th to january uh, 12th 2020. Uh, the next one it is the challenges that you need to overcome here and we do have the um, hangman so the hangman, it's uh, a very, how can I say it, broad card. It is broad uh, because, like I said, that is going to be a wake-up call for you. And until that call comes around, everything that you do is going to be futile. And that is to be the challenge itself, to wait for the wake-up to, to wake call to come around and then you know, act accordingly instead of trying to force and push the things around. You need to know that this week it is simultaneously for you, Sagittarius, a, a test and as well a breakthrough point. It's a test. Do you deserve to be happy? And it is a breakthrough point where you are becoming happy as well. And the hangman here points that everything is going to be resolve or it's on its own accord you don't have to do anything you just have to wait for it to happen and that will be the challenge to wait for it to happen to wait for the love to emerge to wait for the your suitor to approach you all right to wait for whatever um wall you are facing that is standing in between you and your beloved one to be brought down by exterior forces because uh, with the hangman into this position definitely we do have some exterior forces working against you but they will no longer have influence after this week is over so the next one is um the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week it's pretty obvious with the lover's card it is the true love because and the true love it's something different than the passionate love true love it is where you love something or someone and it doesn't make any sense okay uh, usually we love because of certain things we love someone because it's gentle because it's beautiful because it's handsome because it have a status because this and because that but with the lovers the love that you are experiencing it just doesn't make any sense that is someone that completely goes against your criteria and yet you love them why you can't say why it's just it just is and whatever doesn't make any sense cannot be destroyed cannot be jeopardized cannot be um yeah cannot be tamed as well if you will so that is the blessing that you can enjoy throughout the week sagittarius the the true love and if you give yourself to it completely, then that additionally is going to resolve many of your problems and also is going to set you in harmony. Now, the next one, it is how people see you. We do have the Page of Cups. Uh, that is, uh, how can I say it? Well, people were seeing you as a, a person who gets emotionally attached into someone in an exponential rate. Okay, and especially if we're talking about marriage here, people were seeing you as you being more and more in love with your wife or with your husband. People were seeing you as being more and more devoted into the marriage. People were seeing you as someone who makes big plans for the future, for that marriage, for this relationship. In other words, people were seeing you that that thing you have with your suitor, with your personal interest, with your lover, is more than anything else in your life. And people were to appreciate that. And even on top of it, um, how can I say it? People were going to respect your values as well. It's kind of like, I don't know how to say it. So like, let's say people were not going to desecrate your connection that you do have with your person of interest, your husband or a wife or your lover, that is. So the next one, it is what you can do in order to... Um, proceed further with your long-term goal and this is where we come to the battle in between two people especially for those which are single and i'm going to turn out the two cards here we do have from one side king of cups from the other which is what gonna hurt your long-term re relationship and love goal um the knight of wands so two people one 
it's capable of uh, very deep feelings, but they are showing their feelings only to those whom are worthy of it. So what I am saying it is that uh, when you are with this person um, in private, they will be, uh, they will dapple your environment with emotional satisfaction. But when you are with them among everybody else, you know, for example, in a company, in a social circle, they will not going to show their feelings. In other words, they will show indifference towards you. I, but uh, this King of Cups is willing to offer you one hell of a, a, let's say, deal, like an offer for having a suitable, comfortable and peaceful life. From the other hand, we do have this one, who is very passionate, it's very handsome, it's very approachable, it's very tenacious as well, and it's very um, enterprising. Okay, so you gotta choose, especially if you're single, in between one of the two. And people usually go for this one here, Knights of Wands. It is because they're handsome, they're funny, you know, uh, they uh, like to kind of like, uh, suffuse you with compliments uh they're like said enterprising and they're giving an impression that everything is going to be um not as smooth as possible but like as an adventure okay while this one offers you instead a peaceful life okay so you gotta go with this one instead of this one because the knights of wands they are inconsistent what i mean it is that right now they do have interest in you but once they lose that interest they are going to leave you with a blink of an eye, in a heartbeat, without any questions whatsoever. And like we said, with the gifts and the blessings, the true love is something that we don't understand. And therefore, do not try to find any reason behind it. Okay? It's like, uh, how can I say it? Well, falling in love with the Knights of Wands, it will have its reason behind it. You know, because it's handsome, because it's, uh, it's funny, and all these kind of stuff. While... The King of Cups doesn't have anything to offer like that. They only can offer you a peaceful and uh, sustainable life. And why would you love someone for that? Since it is not fulfilled yet. That, that's the whole point. So it's kind of going, instead of going with what meet, meets the eye, go with your, where your emotions are pushing you toward. It's kind of like difficult to differentiate here. And the final card that we do have for you, that is going to be the Guidance card. We have the Strength, and there is only one thing I can say for this card here, Sagittarius, is that wh whomever you choose, whichever you do throughout this week, is going to be indestructible. But, once again, the Knight of Wands does not love you. He just has, or he or she just has that passion toward you, alright? That's not love. The other one loves you, the King of Cups. So, whomever loves you or whomever you fall in love with is going to be indestructible throughout this week, January 6th and January 12th. As a matter of fact, it's going to have a pretty big longevity. Now, important thing to be said with the Strength card as well is, is that you should not uh, search once again reasons behind it. And that's why it's going to be impossible for you to explain why you made your choice going for the king of cups none nor you need you need to feel the need to explain it it is just how you feel it and if it is a true feeling you can't explain it to be to be able to explain love it's like to be able to explain the color dark can you explain me the color of dark it's just dark isn't it so or the color of black, excuse me. It's just black, isn't it? So, some people may say that that is a depravity of colors in, uh, in, a, in a surface, but then explain me the color white. What is color white? Isn't, isn't it the same thing? Depravity of colors in a surface? So yeah, that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, January 6th to January 12th, 2020. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find uh, a link to my website. And hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.